Hello everybody, we're back for another vlog. I don't know what today holds, but it is gonna be exciting. So we're gonna jump right into the vlog. I have a bunch of stuff I wanna show you guys. So much, So, but I wanna start off with, um, can we see my teeth? So I'm going away in literally like a couple of weeks and I have got this big game plan. I'm doing working on my body. I've got my like Assam Booty, booty Tech awesome booty tech I'm not sure if you watched that video you would have seen it um that I'm like working my body with I've got all these different things I'm doing I'm waist training but I'm conscious now that my teeth they're they're fine I love my teeth so much but they do need a bit of whitening I use I drink a hell of a lot of tea and coffee um so I want to share with you guys this really really cool product that came through to me so this is what it looks like it's called white with style now they did reach out to me and i have to admit i looked on the website and i was like what is all of this about they had so many different choices of teeth whitening kits never knew there was that many and <laughs> you're not going to believe this when i tell you so this one i'm always a bit funny about um, teeth whitening kits because I get so worried that they're going to strip my enamel all these big bad things you hear about teeth whitening kits but then I seen that they did this one which is a peroxide free now peroxide is obviously the aggressive ingredient in these teeth whitening kits that cause that issue so this came through yesterday so I'm really excited to see what happens I've cut see what happens <laughs> see what's in it I cut it open so we can have a little look but I love the brand so far I've kind of been stalking their website for a while as well um, so when you get it, it comes in this little blue packet. Um, I think the different type you get, if you get a peroxide one, it'll come in a different color, etc. So in here, you get, this must be the proper gel. So the Whitewood style um, gel in the little syringe. Very official, I like it. Oh, it's got a lovely smell about it as well. Um, you get the, ah, the famous little blue light, which I think I got to remove the battery thing for, but it does come with batteries got the famous little blue light and then you've got where is it you've got two trays for your teeth now this is so cool I've never had like at home trays I found that so cool um, and then you get your instructions on how to use them oh I'm molding the custom trays to the mouth god I didn't know that I thought you just had to pop them in I, I don't know any of this I'm very um unsavvy with teeth and then the last things in here is um you get a shade guide so you can pick where you are with your teeth now and you can write at the bottom um your record and the start date and the end date um, and where you think you are and where you want to be which i think is really cool you have to brush and flush your teeth before you whiten them you have to remove the clear plastic um stuff that comes on all the products obviously remove all the packaging um I didn't realise, on the other side it said that you had to mould the gums, so you've got to put them in boiling water, bite into it, oh my god, this is so official, it's so professional, I tell you that now, I'm going to feel like a little dentist at home doing it on my own. This is an international company, I think they're they're based in the US, um, so this teeth whitening kit is usually $269.99 absolutely crazy but they've given me a code for you guys which is on the screen now which is bella b and that gets you this kit for 28 dollars i don't know how they've given such a big discount but there you go definitely please go ahead and have a little look at this website there's so many choices but do you know what i didn't even mention the most exciting thing yet so i've had teeth whitening stuff before and i'll tell you what the taste of that gel sometimes is like you know, it's in your mouth, you can't help, even though you've got trays, you can't help but kind of taste it. Um, yeah, it was like, not very nice, the other ones I've had. So when I went on the website, you have a choice of flavours. So for the peroxide free, you could choose mint, which of course you'd probably have that because it's like toothpaste, or cotton candy. Cotton candy, how cool is that? It's gonna feel really bizarre though, isn't it? Like the opposite of what you should be putting on your teeth, but it's so good for you. Like it's obviously a, it's a whitening kit. So you can literally get up to seven shades lighter um, of your teeth in one treatment. And they say don't exceed this treatment any more than once a week. So it's obviously strong stuff. Cause I know you can get other brands that are like, you know, you've got to do it two to three times a week. And I mean like, I'm not being funny. Who's got time for that? I sit there for 30 minutes with a thing in my mouth. Like, I need to be talking or eating or drinking, so I don't have time to do that all the time. So one treatment for 30 minutes, don't do it any more than once a week. Apparently you get seven shades, lighter more, lighter more teeth. My English has just gone out the window. This is actually 10 treatments. So for that price, you're getting 
a lot of bang for your buck. Just as well to like disclose, because I know it's really important, but this is um, made in the US. Um, it's FDA registered, cruelty free, gluten free, BPA free, vegan, and sensitive, sensitivity free, sensitive, sensitive, sensitivity free. But for $28, I mean, if you want a whiter smile for summer, then this is the brand to go with. And I love the packaging and I love how cool it is. So I am buzzing to try that. No doubt you'll be seeing this on trial in an, on Instagram. Cannot formulate my words today. Right, so I have just finished filming a video. I'm very buzzing about it. It was my first video of my weight loss series. So this was the tips video of what to do. Now today is a very important day. Today is the final of the Six Nations. Now if you don't watch rugby and you're not into rugby then it's not going to be a big deal for you but for me it's going it's to be a big deal. It's going to be a very, very, very big deal because England are in the final. It's going to be a stressful few hours um, but hopefully some really fun ones. So I'm going down. I, this morning what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the city ground. No, 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 no. Start again. So this morning, I filmed a video. I want to go see Nan because I haven't seen her for a while. I don't think you guys have seen her for a while either, so we can go say hi to Nan. I had a big breakfast, so I don't need any lunch. She'll probably want to pop to the shops. We might have time to do that. I've got two hours about. I can be a bit rough. The game starts at quarter to three, so it's not really a problem. But um, Henry has booked us a table at the city ground. So the city ground is where our local team plays rugby. Again, if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen all of this on my story. Everything happens on Instagram. You're really missing out if you're not on my Instagram. So please, genuine genuine plug here. Check out the Instagram. We've got a really fun girls' night planned tonight. So initially, Steph was going to come over for a sleepover. And this is kind of like so embarrassing to mention on camera. But we genuinely, like me and Steph are on our weight loss and our health kicks at the minute. And on we like to have a little indulge. We're both foodies. We love food. So our, we found that our little key trick on the weekend, if we want to treat ourselves, but we don't want to go out, spend loads of money, you know, order something off a menu that we're not 100% of what's in it, um, we have our trick of our chicken and coleslaw nights. So we go to Asda, buy a ready cooked, extra tasty roasted chicken and some coleslaw and hummus and we have a little binge in bed and eat a chicken directly from the bone. Um, I can't believe I just admitted this on camera, but it's our kind of little secret guilty pleasure, but a whole cooked chicken is around 600 calories, five, 600 calories, depending on how it's cooked, how much oil, don't eat the skin, etc. Um, but you feel so bloody fulfilled and yet all you've done is had pure protein. So it's great, not pure protein, but you know what I mean, um, lean protein. <clears throat> So it's really fun. And then we have obviously low fat coleslaw. And I have got from my last vlog, which you would have seen in London, we've got my Harrods hummus to eat tonight. And I am buzzing. I've already tried it and it's actually so nice. So with that being said, that's the plan for the day. Without any more chit chat, I'm gonna pack away this camera. I did debate trying to film my updated weight loss video, but I don't know what it is guys. I can't bring myself to do it. I just don't feel like I'm there yet. It's been, I didn't realize it's been two years since my last one, so I should be there for sure. But I've done my tips video now anyway, which is the most important, I think, because that's kind of what you should take out of that video anyway. Cool. All right, I'm gonna go now. I'll see you guys in a bit. Anyone think you're going to watch Bristol Bears are all in Navy? Yeah. Next week is a good game. We're getting tickets for next week. What's next week? They're playing Worcester at home, aren't they? Oh, is it? Yeah. That's all right, isn't it? Come down. I've got a hood here if I want to put my hood up, man. So where are you going to now? What time is it? No, I'm going to go down and get some money. That's 20 all. past oh, one. Oh, 20 to one, yeah, sorry. Yeah. Huh? yeah. Yeah. You ready to go? You ready? Yeah, yeah. I'm ready. Okay, I'm ready let's to go. I wear a lip balm, I take off my lip gloss, put lip balm on, on and it's still my hair sticks to Next it. Week? Andy's, Mandy's coming back. No, first, third of April. Oh, so, I'm with Nan now. We're just at the retail park. I literally look, I can't stand wind with my hair down. 
and we're going to our favourite shop. <laughs> Go and have a look at some bargains. Easter eggs, this is my favourite. I love Maltesers Easter eggs. Oh, look at all the eggs. Yeah, much cheaper here. Well, not really. $8.99 for an Easter egg. That's quite excessive. Milk and honey, that sounds nice. Good. I've got the get of this because I've got it on the left. I've got the men smell it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Epsom salts and Himalayan salts. Oh, I need a new sponge if they've got one. Oh, should they? They have got the natural sponge. Oh yeah, they're down there. Mm. It's not the ones I like. Hair dye I use here. I use Olea, but they don't have any. I'm debating trying this because this is Garnier as well. But oh, I don't think they have my colour anyway. Doesn't matter. No, I don't fall down. I'm sensible enough. I know you're sensible, but you don't no. plan on falling over, do you? I don't want to tell. If I fall down, I got my phone and everything. Don't you know the cold? They don't tell me. You can't anyway, man. For all the acrylic now storage. for three weeks. What is the end of Cute little hairbands. I love it. Oh, what makeup they got. They still got the mascara. I do not need any. But they probably have got some. This is so good. I've told you guys before, you need to get this. It's $2.99. Just like the Anastasia Beverly Hills one. Ooh, this looks cute. W7 Seduced palette. Love it. And they got some photo ready. If you want some foundation for $5.99. They've got this one, which is one of my favorites. $2.99. Max Factor, a little contouring from Rimmel, some lashes, I don't rate those though, but there's some NYX here too, but only looks like a few colours, but yeah, they've got these Rimmel liquid liners, oh, they have got a light one here, it looks like it's been opened, so that's that, so I do love the beauty section here, I do feel like I've shopped it out though, there's so much that I've already bought, um, look at this wash bag, that's so nice. I'm going on holiday soon, but that would literally be half of my suitcase. So cannot, but um, they do perfume sets. Oh, they've got some sun lotion here. I've got to be careful what I use, but I want one for my face. I want a face sun lotion, but they just don't seem to sell them, which is annoying. And I don't like using normal ones on my face, so. What is that one for? Yeah, there's some good stuff with Charlie. <laughs> they do misguided fragrances here too, but they're at $7.99, so. Oh, the straight brush from JML, only 13 pounds. That seems pretty good. Never tried it, Mum's tried it though, and she said she likes it. And now we're in the baby section, and you lose me. Interest gone. Yeah, I nearly forgot though. I really fancied that chocolate biscuit. I forgot I gave out for Lent. Learn to say no. Huh? Learn to say no. <laughs> yeah, I learned to say no, yeah. I know, I, I'm glad I remembered, I nearly forgot. Are you doing with the gym and everything around? I go four times a week. So, for the past 
five weeks. I've been going four times a week. I go for runs twice a week. Um, and you've got more so? Uh, sometimes I run on my own, sometimes I run with Mary. But yeah, I'm getting a lot faster. And I'm doing five kilometers, mm -hmm. six kilometer runs. Walk as well. No, I'm running. I don't stop. Yeah. I don't stop. I don't walk. I run. And I don't stop. So I'm going quite fast as well. So that's good. It's really pushing me. But that's, that's what it's supposed to do. So I just got in and it is blowing gale force out there. It's not night at all. And I got my hair down as I showed you just now. So it's just gone like all bitty and I don't like that. So thank God I got this thing in. Go to my uh, England top. I'm debating whether to put on red lipstick, but I'm like, oh, I'm gonna look a bit too keen bean. But um, yeah, mum, I've just come home and mum's got us two tasty chickens ready for tonight. I'm so buzzing for my chicken and coleslaw and my hummus from Harrods. And somebody here wants to say hello real quick. Hello baby, say hi. Yeah. Is Mummy not home? Has she left me her pass or has she, again, totally forgot on the fair place she's put it there? So in the, I park in my mum's work when I go to this part of Bristol because she has like secure parking so I just need her pass. I got some microwave popcorn, I got nothing exciting in B&M, just so you know, it's all normal stuff. So I got some of this um, star popcorn it's literally 39 pence and it's like it's a really fun low calorie snack and i thought if we're all having a foodie night in tonight popcorn's always a good idea so i got that um i just got um a huge box of my porridge that i eat every morning usually well actually i exaggerate i don't eat breakfast that often so when i eat i eat this and then I got three more of these soaps. So I got the fresh lavender, the lemon citrus, and the fresh cotton. Even the lady at the till was like, I really like these. And they're so, so cheap. Got myself a little ambrosia Devon banana custard because this is my little guilty pleasure. Okay. And I've got my lunch in case I need a in case I need a quick lunch, which to be fair, I haven't been having those processed pot noodles for a long time because I'm making fresh meals, but Yes, okay, that is everything that I got. Really nothing exciting, but I didn't need a thing, quite honestly, so apart from my porridge. No Milo, but you can have a bit of sausage. So excited for chicken tonight. Henry rang me, he's like, where are you? Because it's two o'clock now, so I better get my ass in gear and get down to the city ground. Um, oh yeah, I'm just thinking, do I need anything? I need to have a wee before I go, but do I need anything or take anything out of my bag? I don't think I need my sunglasses anymore. It's not gonna rain, but it is far from sunny now. Look at this wind! Oh my goodness! We're gonna go here now. We're in the bar, but they've also got like where the tables are is a pizza restaurant. Oh, Nos canister, nice. Yeah, it's a pizza restaurant, so I think we're gonna have some lunch. I'm not hungry at all. I showed you guys, I, oh, I didn't show you my breakfast, I should have showed you, it was amazing. I made avocado toast with eggs and um, chipo like turkey rasher bacon, which is like really low calorie and lean. Um, yeah, it was just really nice with some little sausages on top. So really nice um, protein breakfast and things. But yeah, it was calorific, well, it wasn't calorific, it was calorific because of the avocado. But anyway, not hungry but I'm sure we'll get something to nibble on. I'm excited for a couple of shandies and hopefully a really good game. It's so weird to see this place empty. This is usually full of people. It's so empty. It's bloody windy out there. All right, where have I got to sit? Sit somewhere. Is that, is that free over there? Green hustle. Ah, hello everyone. Oh, it's so horrible. Yes. <laughs> <laughs>
نعم So update, we've watched um, the Ireland, I'm going to put you here because I can't be asked to hold it. We've watched the Ireland um, Wales game and unfortunately Wales bloody thrashed Ireland 22-7. Um, so not the best but hey ho, there you go. England are playing now, it's half time and they have done amazing. They're at like 31-7. I think against Scotland, so they're way ahead. So that's something, something like that. I don't know. 31, is it? Yeah. So that's something. <sighs> just played taxi and took everybody home. So now I'm eventually home, just having a little bit of a clean up. Steph will be coming over in a moment. The England game. <sighs> I've had a tense, I've had a tense three hours, I'll tell you that now. The first game was obviously Ireland lost and we wanted Ireland to win, but there you go. Um, but the second game, England and Scotland drew. So that was something, England started off and they thrashed them as I think I showed you guys, they were doing really, really well. And then the second half, Scotland came back and just totally took back over and played really, really well to be fair. Um, but we ended up getting a last minute try and the conversion, so. Yes, we managed to draw, which is always great, and we still came second overall, so all good news. I'm going to put this shirt away now for a bit until the next Six Nations, but I'm going to have a shower because I'm absolutely freezing. Well, it's the next day. We're going to continue this vlog on through. I, uh, ah, yeah, I just went and grabbed my camera. Steph's coming over in a minute again. She stayed over last night, but, um, yeah, we're, uh, we're going to go to my nan's for dinner now, but... Do you know what? I just had a moment, like, I am just, I just had a moment. I was literally like, I'm so sick and tired. How literally, I can never win with like, how do I say this? As you guys know, I grew up abroad, I grew up in Asia and I, grew up there for 12 years without my family and with my parents, without my grandparents and things like that. And um, that's why we moved home six years ago in May. And I love it here, like this is the best place it can ever be, but I am so sick of, there always now is going to be distance in my life with people. Like I spoke to Rain this morning, my best friend, as you know, um, who I went, it's her, it's her wedding anniversary tomorrow and I was in Australia this time last year setting up everything for her wedding and it kind of just makes you like take a minute and you know it's so upsetting for me because I was speaking to her earlier and I was like I wish you could come over here to Bristol and to England and I'd love to show you around you can obviously stay here I'm happy to take you anywhere you need to go like or you want to see like I take time off work you know and like they're not in a position to come over here and like be able to afford it because flights are so expensive, it's so far, it's the opposite side of the world, you know? And I spoke to Rain this morning and it's just so frustrating. And I've, it kind of, I just had a realization moment just now that no matter what I do in my life, I'm always gonna have my loved ones away from me because when you were, when I was over there, I made family while my family were here. So I just kind of had that minute and I'm just feeling a bit deflated and a bit shit, but anyway, Steph's outside. We've got to get Milo in the car now. So Milo, you ready to go to Nanny's for some dinner? We're gonna go to Nanny's. We're gonna have some dinner. Is Steph outside? Hello. Hello. <laughs> right, go see Steph. Go see Steph and I get the bag. Right get this little boy in the car. But just like that, issues that you have, you just gotta put them in bed and go to sleep. You know, put them in bed and carry on. But it is a bit upsetting. Nan made nachos and got a breakfast starters. Yay! <laughs> Say hi, Sam. I think we ate too many nachos. <laughs> but 
Now we got a Sunday dinner. Milo's over there stalking Nan as usual while she's um, preparing food. Milo's dinner is over here. All that. Oh. And then he's got this little dish there. And got a table set. You. Say happy St. Patrick's Day. He's like, there's nothing in my bowl. Hello, where's your dish? Oh, what's this? He knows. Oh my goodness, look at that. Oh, look at all that. Is that nice? Wow. Mine is a lucky boy. Is that nice? And he had, he had a pancake this morning, Grant, with bacon. Pancake with bacon? Is that nice? Turkey bacon. Oh, wow, it's even still steeping hot. Serve in, so dish it up, otherwise your minute meals be cold. All right. What is that, Teddy? Is that your Sunday lunch? That's a happy dog. That's a happy, happy, healthy dog. Hey, good boy. Everybody's getting their dinner. I got mine. Look at that. Are you ready? Milo's out for the count. So full. Look at that belly. Look at that belly. Look at its flashing colour. Show everybody your flashing colour. Yeah. Little brave dog. Nice, fresh face now. I've just come in. Well, no, I haven't. I come in a little while ago. And oh, God, I hit my hair up like that. It looks so weird. Just taken off my makeup and put on some skincare. Nice and dewy skin, as you can see. Um, in my onesie again. And I'm catching up with Ibiza Weekender because it's been a while. I'm only on episode four and I think the season's actually over. So I wanted to do my Whitewood style tonight. Um, I think I'm going to do that after. I need to brush my teeth because I just had a cup of tea, so I'm going to let that. Um, taste up my mouth. And I've got some water because I haven't drank a lot of water today. Can you see how out of breath I am? Oh, change the battery pack. All right, so coming to the end of the vlog, I hope you enjoyed it. Been a little bit bitty, but yeah. I so, hope you guys are okay with what I spoke to spoke about earlier. Um, let me just pause this. Yeah, I just had like a little moment where I was just kind of like, you know, I was missing, missing my friends and that and it just made me realise that the way I've been brought up, how amazing it is, you know, it will always mean that somewhere I'm never I'm never gonna have everyone I love in one place. I mean the majority are here, so that's great, but yeah, it was just uh just kinda hit me. Just kinda like dawned upon me today. So yeah. But anyway, thank you for watching the vlog and remember to subscribe if you enjoyed and usually they're a bit more eventful than this so this is kind of just a bit of a buffer vlog. But yeah, I'd love if you could stick around and I'll see you all in my next video. Ciao!